the people that were involved at the beginning, they might not be working here anymore. And but without them, without it, took, vision, it, it took what, vision and passion to get this faci passion. facility where yes. it is and to get it off the ground. And we watched that from we were at the very first meetings and we saw the passion that these people that were involved at that time had and now their legacy goes on in this building. Absolutely. As this was developed, if you take 10 years ago, uh, it is creating what we had hoped it would as a catalyst uh, for the entire Wenatchee Valley. You know, from Chelan to Leavenworth to Waterville to Rock Island. It's, it's really brought that together in, a, in this facility. It was really rewarding to see those plans come to fruition in such a big way. I don't think anybody dreamed until they walked into it the first time uh, what, what this facility truly meant for the area. We dreamed a big dream and we did it. And to be a part of that in my lifetime, in my career, was life-changing for me. And it changed how I look at this community. We can do big, audacious things, and we can get them done. And they're not always easy, and things sometimes don't go the way we plan, but we get through them. Well, this was either going to be a symbol of our failure or a symbol of our success. And I think it's now a symbol of our success yeah. as a community as a larger community. The Town Toyota Center is simply a reflection of the valley um, here and 150 miles away. And the more lives that can be touched by things that happen here is why we are in existence. You know, we've always looked at our company, the people are the most important part of it. It's just like this facility. We have a beautiful facility here, but it's nothing without the people that come into it and make it work. This idea of everything is impossible until it's possible. Well, welcome Town Toyota Center. It's exciting to live in a city that is our size and yet get the talent in here that we're able to get. We uh, landed over a hundred events that first year and, and many of them still come back every year since uh, the first year. This facility um, gave us the spark and the opportunity to say, wh what can we bring here? What can we expose our community to? And one of the things that I'll, I'll never forget is the Kelly Clarkson concert. To walk into this arena and see, I'm guessing 4,000 people. Place was packed. She just came off of American Idol and was a touring star. And just to see families with their children, and their grandparents and their friends in here singing and dancing and having. I looked at that and said, wow, I can't believe that our community can do that. We have quite the eclectic group of artists and talent that have, uh, have been here. We kind of do anything. Anything that comes our way and we can fit it in this building, we'll do. <laughs> so it's an all-purpose facility. Well, I came here to uh, interview for a job and the first time and I walked in and I just was amazed because this is one of the nicer buildings I've been in. I've been in a lot of buildings across the country and uh, I was I, I was just kind of surprised to see a building like this in a community like this and uh, that was before I knew the community and now that I do I understand why and why they support it and why they appreciate it so much because it's a great building in a great town. You know I've, I've been able to work with the same operations staff uh, with barely any turnover for the whole 10 years that we've been here. When I walk in this building, I feel like I'm home. I mean, it, it does. It feels like even when I come for an event that's not mine, I still feel like I'm part of the family. And I'm only here one week out of the year. There's a lot of figure skaters over there that are there at like five in the morning practicing. I can only imagine what this place means to them. There's been several thousand kids that have been able to learn how to skate in the uh, you know, the skating facility that's attached to here. Uh, I think that's fantastic. My sons have played hockey both since they were four years old. They're now uh, 20 years old and 17 years old. They, uh, my oldest started in the old rink and we had the opportunity to move to the new rink when he was eight. This building provided them an opportunity not only to play hockey but to take on responsibilities as referees. It definitely was the place that our family spent the last 10 years. Figure Skating Club here in, in Wenatchee is like such a great family and they were very welcoming to us and our children and just brought us in and we've really enjoyed it. Our daughter is part of Disney on Ice and you know this happened for her because of the Town Toyota Center. Yes. Without this facility that 
opportunity would not have been available to her. Also, our son Liam is um, currently a national medalist. I, as far as I know, that's the first national medalist out of Wenatchee. Mm -hmm. um, he is skating all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And is, uh, almost lives here, mm -hmm. but working very, very hard. And mm -hmm. Athlete Development Committee for the United States Figure Skating is monitoring him closely. And these are the same people that select the U.S. Olympic team. I think if we had had to travel and only skate a couple times a week throughout the summer that he wouldn't have been able that to get his impossible. skills to the level that they're at for him to be able to do that. Yes. So that opportunity has <laughs> yes. become available to him due to the year-round ice. Winter Special Olympics have been held in Wenatchee for a, a, a considerable period of time, but now with this facility, this is their home. You know, uh, we can count on every year the Special Olympics statewide uh, being the heart of our valley. Cascade Natural Gas built that torch for the Special Olympics Winter Games to start in 1990. It was housed in the middle of Memorial Park initially until the Tansy Center was built and they, they dug this guy up and moved it down here so this could be the new home since this is where the opening ceremonies would be and then this figure skating part of the Winter Games. So every year they come and crank it up and it gets lit during the Winter Games opening ceremony and stays lit the entire weekend and then they turn it off on Sunday night when the closing ceremonies happen. I'm really thrilled to be able to have this, this facility for the Winter Games and um, it's helped us secure this event for our valley for, for the future. When Eastmont High School had their graduation here, and previously those graduations were a challenge at the gymnasium over there, and to come in here and see these kids along that big screen, bringing as many people as they wanted, you know, and some people had suites and parties, you know, graduation parties there, and it was, uh, that, that for me was, really cool. Uh, that was one of my first really, it's like, wow, we really did something good here. Every single class that graduates in that facility excites me because it's the launching pad for them into this community and it becomes owned by them and they make memories and their families make memories. One of the things I'm most proud of with that building is the fact that it got, it got built because of leaders who took a risk. Um, some difficult things happened on the financing but it got rescued by all of North Central Washington. That's pretty special. And Senator Parlett literally saved the legislation that got this building to happen. She saved it from death <laughs> in the legislature because she saw the value to the 12th district. There's a plaque on the building entitled On Thin Ice that was dedicated to the, to the six board members, volunteer board members who um, contributed an incredible amount of their time and energy uh, to saving this facility. When it was in jeopardy, when we were worried about financing, we got out the word and we got everyone who skated here, came to a concert here, anybody that loved this building and as a demonstration of their love of this building, we got them on the ice and we took a, a picture with everyone on the ice. And that was one little hockey mom that said, guess what, I'm gonna show you that much we love this, this facility. Definitely a defining moment. A really cool opportunity for everyone to be on the ice and to say, hey, you know what, we love this facility. And, um, and it really was, it was moving at the time to see so many kids and parents and saying, you know what, we love this facility so much that we're going to say yes and pass Prop 1. I think this building, it's been huge. It, it, it brought the community closer because now, you know, it, it's a small community. We see each other in the, the markets and in the stores and things, but then you come to an event center like this and you see a lot of people out of their elements Everybody's doing the same thing. They're cheering for the same team. They're watching the same shows. Um, it really brought the community together, and it's awesome. This place is awesome. Our very first game, I remember coming on the ice, and they introduced the visiting team, and everybody stood up and clapped. And I was like, all right, we got some learning to do here. But I got to tell you, now 10 years into it, there's, uh, there's no better fans in all of hockey than, than right here in Wenatchee. I remember wild parents coming here from New York, from all over to see their kids play. And I remember them being blown away with the amount of support this community gave these kids and the impact this team had. So we, this was big league for us. 
This Wild team was a big deal, and we all got behind them. Just a short time ago, the Wenatchee Wild were the top-ranked junior hockey team in the entire United States. Wenatchee, you are home to an ice hockey champion. Your Wenatchee Wild are the BCHL 2018 Fred Page Cup champions. This building is not about us as individuals. It's not about Mark, it's not about me. This building will exist beyond us. What do we need to do right now to make sure that the, the future of this building is always bright? Not only has this symbolized our ability to cooperate together, but it continues to provide a means by which we work together into the future. I honestly believe our kids are gonna be running this facility, so we need to do the best that we can while we're here so they can have something to really thrive on. Who gets to dream big dreams now, right? The kids that walk into this building that have a dream of being a hockey player. The kids that walk in and want to be a figure skater and go somewhere or turn their passion into an occupation. This gives them a capability. So um, who, what dreams can we launch out of here for the future? When I'm 70, 80 years old, I want to come back and watch a hockey game and. And, and see the, the stuff that I did is still up and going, and I had a large part of that. I mean, we are so thankful. Yeah. And it has truly changed our lives and our, my, our children's yeah, lives. Yeah, our children's and lives. And many others along the way. Mm -hmm. This is what we're seeing. This is what we're raising. And to have been part of it is extremely gratifying. It's more than just cement and bricks. It's memories and opportunities and it means a ton to my family. I mean, they just, you know, they lived and breathed here and it taught them more than I could have ever done on my own. Would you find a small town that has what this town has to offer? This town has a lot of stuff to offer that, including this building, that a lot of bigger towns don't have. The feeling of family that you get here from the whole community, to me, that makes it special. And that's what helps keep this building running, is the support from the, from the community. You know how you look for quotes? There was one, you know, Gretzky, the great hockey player, you know, the best ever. And, and his comment was, you never score if you don't shoot the puck. That building to me represents opportunity and we're just, just getting started.